Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. We have to talk about the bench grinder. So if you're using this grinder, this grinder, or this grinder, there's some things you need to do to protect yourself. Number one, hearing protection. Gotta wear your earplugs. Little foamies work great. Wear your earplugs, it gets loud and this thing will ruin your hearing eventually. So hearing protection, also obviously eye protection. Have to wear our safety glasses whenever we're working in the shop doing anything that could possibly damage our eyes. A third thing we need to have is no gloves. If you have gloves on and you are using the grinder, that grinding wheel can grab those gloves and suck those in and your hand will probably be inside those gloves since you're wearing them and it'll suck your hand right in as well. It's really important if you're using the wire wheel. Really important not to wear gloves when you're grinding this. You may have a question and say, hey, but my metal gets warm when I grind. Cool, everyone's does. What you need to do is stop, cool off your metal in water or let it air cool and then come back and start grinding again. Something you need to remember when you use this grinder is to use the table. The table's there for a reason. You need to put the metal on the table to grind with it. Do not, do not hold your metal at an angle that's up like this. Do not hold your metal at an angle like this because if it gets thin enough and narrow enough, it can get caught and suck in there. If you are at an angle like this, that is okay. I prefer you have your metal flat on the table to give it a nice backing to grind against. But you can do this. You cannot do this. Don't do that. Another thing to remember when using the grinding wheel is to use the whole wheel. If you use just one area of the wheel, you are going to create a groove in that and it's going to damage the wheel. Use the whole wheel, grind on all of it. Another thing to remember when using the grinding wheel is to use the safety shields if at all possible. If the grinder doesn't have one, well obviously you can't use it, but if it has one, use that, that shield. Another thing to remember is when you start this up, let it come to the full RPM before you start using it. It's meant to run at a certain RPM. Let it get up to high speed before you start grinding something on this. That'll pro prolong the life of your grinding wheel. With the grinding wheel, you never ever want to grind on the wheel with metal that's non-ferrous. What's non-ferrous, you ask? Non-ferrous is any metal that does not contain iron. So, examples of non-ferrous metals would be copper, brass, also non-ferrous, and aluminum, or as they say, aluminum. Example of a ferrous metal that you can grind with is steel. Another characteristic of ferrous metal is magnetism. It's magnetic. So you can grind on it if it's attracted to a magnet. Do not grind with the grinding wheel on aluminum or copper or any other non-ferrous metal. Not good. It can glaze that wheel and then bad things will happen. So whether you're grinding on your welding project or maybe you're grinding a piece of slag off of your piece of metal you've cut from the plasma cutter, make sure you have eye protection, hearing protection, you're not wearing gloves and you're not grinding on non-ferrous metals. Other than that, grind away folks. And remember, work hard. Hard work is its own reward. Hey, thanks for watching folks. If I missed anything in the video, go ahead and list it in the comments and then I'll uh, make a note of that for future lectures or discussions or whatever. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want, no big deal. 